Yo, what up guys, I'm Shade and we're back in Need for Speed Heat with Project Unite and with his Ford Focus RS, which I actually never customized before. So let's get to it and today's objective is gonna be building a rally car, but for the road. I was actually expecting this car to have a lot more like rally style parts. Ah, now you see, that's a part that I like. That looks very much like a rally style wing. That doesn't. It does look fucking insane though, but not really what I'm looking for right now. This one also ain't bad. And I mean, this does look pretty sick, but it's not really giving me those like rally, rally cross vibes. I don't know, let me just go into performance first. Go into suspension because this will affect the look of the car. Exactly, let me give it some rally suspension and for some reason the speed cross tires really lift up this car But we're gonna go with BF Goodrich which are the like rally tires I think these wheels look alright for a rally car and I'm gonna go with like some matte white paint But on the back though I wanna take something like this And I'm gonna get rid of this side skirt as well Cause I just, I just need this car to look as high as possible What has the community been- Oh bro, we have a shitload of rally style paints here This one looks pretty sick and it kinda goes with my rims And when it comes to performance I'll try to put the car as close as I can to 290 Cause that's like maximum off-road level 289 that is pretty close all right we'll go like this i want to try some of these time trials with rally parts i'm not really expecting to beat this ghost also because it's a player i mean if i still had that like speed ghost bronze and stuff like that maybe i could do it but then again a lot of this is just due to me having the the new handling the new simcade handling i think even with a race car I probably couldn't really do this like much faster because you have to break a lot for corners now but yeah but like the guy is just he's gone let me try this 270 race just to see how I compare to the AI if I go full-on rally mode which means I'm gonna start drifting some corners let's go which is actually slower in this mod yep I mean, actually, it's just slower Need for Speed Heat in general. You just in previous entries you'd actually speed up while drifting, but that doesn't happen in this game. And also, speaking of not happening, I am getting absolutely left in the dust. No pun intended. And just for comparison, like this car does pretty well off-road. Like it is a good handling car and it's pretty fast. Like it just—it's a good off-road car. Can I get this barrel roll? Ooh, damn! That was—that was smooth. That was a smooth barrel roll. I was kind of hoping that my like corner drifting ability kind of helped in some ways. But race cars are actually like their tires, you know, they're just much faster. Well, I'm definitely not keeping up with a Lambo on the straight. Let's get to the jump, see if I maybe like, maybe I can take the landing better. Uh, I don't know, it still is pretty far. To be honest, I thought this would actually be a lot easier, <laughs> not gonna lie. Maybe my drifting ability can help here. Oh shit, that is some pretty sick drifting, although <laughs> I think it's just making us slower. 239, the full time beaten, I mean that's not really that hard, I still made 53k, I mean that is some pretty good money considering I just lost, but I mean, well, we're not beating time trials and we're not beating race events, next up is drift events, can we do it? Because I mean, this car has some pretty nice maneuverability. I'm pretty sure we can make some points with this. And yes, I can use speed cross tires for it, but I will still just go in with the normal rally parts and then I'll change to the speed cross stuff. And I know that in base heat, some people were actually using like speed cross parts for like asphalt drifting. But in this case, because of the all wheel drive, and I mean this car it's it's off-road so it naturally just slides around the surface but it's like a very light sliding it's a super controllable sliding this honestly works rather well and even if you go onto the dirt like <laughs> I mean the car is kind of made for it so you're still gonna be making points don't really lose too much speed although we are testing this on asphalt so I do want to keep it on the road but it doesn't, the dirt doesn't really hurt it. Ooh, 
let's go bro look at the I, mean, I just went right off track again not that it matters because this is an off-road vehicle that's a nice I think I wall tap that thing not too sure but that was a very nice entry now just keep it going I mean honestly the four drift events this is very controllable I would even maybe say it's OP because it's just a lot easier maybe not as fun I mean depends on who you ask I guess but it, it, it works like for drift events I think this is easier than using just showcase parts and it just it works and this is with just like the normal rally parts I'm not even using speed cross ones but I'm just going to guess that it's probably even easier. I don't know man, like this is fun, like this really has a like rally cross feel to it. Let's visit the quarry here because I think that this drift trial actually takes you through some dirt roads as well. And it would be nice to just have like both asphalt and dirt. I mean I think it does, but I don't remember the last time I even did this. So anyway, let's break a little bit, cool. go around this as much as possible at least, break this. Like, this is very nice, it's very controllable. And we also have a lot of dirt, like even going over the road and stuff, which is you know, very fitting to what we're doing here. I just went right, wait, was that the actual path? I think it was. I think that's what I was talking about. We actually go over dirt stuff. This wasn't the actual path, but I just, I just made it the actual path because fucking rally car very tight I mean it wasn't that tight but you know this all-wheel drive can just bring just about any angle back we'll go over the dirt doesn't really matter we don't get affected by it break here very nice oh no there is actually road on the side I'm just choosing the dirt life it's fine we'll go around this how close are we to the target score? Pretty close. And I mean, sure, drift events weren't that hard when it comes to just beating like their default scores. But in case you are having trouble, like this is pretty easy. And it's not just a matter of being it. This is fun. If you just want to do something different, like drift events with off-road cars, it's actually pretty fun. Anyway, let me check the garage. Go into the tires and give me the... Oh, shit, I don't actually have the... The speed cross tires on me. Well, on to the part shop. I want this Michelin Latitude Cross. Alright, these are the proper speed cross tires, and this should make this car slide a lot more. Fuck. Do these cars have insurance? Alright, now with rally cross tires, this definitely slides a lot more. Feels kinda weird. Not really like in a bad way, just just weird it's like a much quicker slide but it still has quite a bit of grip on asphalt it's uh i don't know it, it it definitely feels like a very arcade type drift i mean these cars have a lot of power like they're all little drives i'm i don't know it, it feels weird but again not really in a bad way i'm just not really sure how to describe it also i must wonder what's the 360 ability of this Damn, pretty good actually. Let's go for another one. Ooh, that's <laughs> that was a uh, kind of scuffed double 360. 360. Oh, all right, that was a pretty deep 360. But I mean, now we're rocking a full rally cross setup, and I mean, it, it's a lot closer to how like a drift car would handle. But it still like has that off-road aggressiveness to it, I guess. And say that I mean if they either way whether you're going rally or speed cross if you're on asphalt like they don't feel super different but th they work like the, the thing is that they work maybe too well and honestly I still think I might prefer the rally parts over the speed cross setup it just it feels a little bit more like controllable but I mean th this is just it's a lot of fun it's it, it's a different kind of drifting anyway another 360 Damn! Alright, another 360 because I just lost it again. I mean, <laughs> no, I, it was totally intentional. I wanted to do a 360. Also, by the way, a route or like track creator in the next Need for Speed would be fucking sick. Anyway, guys, this is Shade. I hope you liked it. Peace!